Hi, John here with Wild Hair. With Nerd Shipping, I'm excited to bring you an unboxing video so you know what you can expect. I have in my hand a $75 Kickstarter backer kit, which we're going to be opening up and showing you how to connect to your mobile device for the first time. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll notice is you have a founding member Nerd Herd decal and a quick setup a guide. You have an input cable, a micro USB wall wart, and then of course what we've all been waiting for, my nerd. Now this does look like black plastic, but it's actually smoked out, so when you have it plugged in and you have the LED on, you'll be able to see the nerd emblem shine through. If you ordered from outside the US, you'll also receive a plug adapter for your region, and if you are an $85 backer, you'll receive a 5 dB antenna and instructions on how to install it. So we'll go ahead and uh, open this up and show you how to connect to it for the first time. All right, so now that you can see the Nerd PCB with the lid off, um, we're gonna go ahead and power this up. I have my micro USB power adapter that I'm gonna plug into the micro USB port on the Nerd. Uh, you're gonna see that the red LED comes on and then you'll get a couple flashes out of the multicolored LED. We'll go into what the multicolor LED does a little bit more a little bit later. Um, but uh, we wanna also talk about the other way to power this up, which will be by this connector right here. So you can actually put nine uh, to 24 volt, uh, either DC or AC into this connector, and it will power the Nerd if you want to use it in a mobile application like uh, on a boat or in a car. Um, and then you have your input pins right here, which we're going to plug in and do a quick demo on. And then you'll notice that you have uh, six, six connectors here, um, three for each relay, and you have a normally open, common, and normally closed uh, on each relay. So we'll go ahead and hook this little guy up real quick. This is just your input connector. So we're going to hook it up to where your, uh, see if you can see that, your gray will be the furthest away from the micro USB connector. So you have gray and black, which is gonna be input one, and then purple and black, which is gonna be input two. Now the black wires are just ground. Um, your actual input pins are gonna be hooked to your gray and your purple. So to do a quick demo, I've already set this nerd up to um, have a momentary input setup. So when I touch these two together, the relay will click and it'll stay active until I remove the two. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's really all it's doing. You can actually hook up a switch or some other type of connector. Um, we have some other videos showing you how we use like a light sensor and some different things to activate the inputs, but it's that simple. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to connect your Nerd to your phone for the first time. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so the first time I connect my iPhone to my Nerd, this is how I'm gonna do it. Um, you'll notice that the power light is on, um, but not the multicolor LED is not. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is hit settings, and then I'm gonna go to my Wi-Fi. I got my Wi-Fi settings here. Um, now I wanna select Nerd CO um, as the Mac ID right here says CO, so I know that that is the one I wanna connect to. So I'll select it, and when I get my little check mark here, you'll notice that uh, my little red uh, LED turns on here, so that means that it is connected directly to my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of the settings bundle and go to My Nerd, open the app. Now it'll take a second to find it for the first time. Now I have my buttons populate on screen, and you'll notice that the little green LED on the multicolor LED indicator um, came on, so that means that my app is open and connected. So to go ahead and test it, make sure everything's working correctly, I'll just go ahead and hit a button so I know it's working. Uh, so that's awesome. So that's how you directly connect. Now, if you want to go ahead and connect to your home network, um, what we'll do is we'll hit Edit I.O. We'll hit Advanced down at the bottom of the screen, and then we'll hit Connection Mode. So now we can put in the uh, network name and password. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in our network name. Uh, it is case sensitive, so it's very important to get that correct. So I'm gonna to connect to my guest network. I'm going to leave my password blank because there is no password, and I'm gonna hit go. The next thing I'm gonna do is hit the Wi-Fi button, and then I'll be prompted that it's switching over to Wi-Fi. So now it says that it's complete, and then it gives you directions. Basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is back out of the app, and then you're gonna to wanna to go back into settings, and then you wanna to connect to your guest network. So now I'm connected. 
Now you'll notice that the uh, little red uh, LED on the multi-color LED is on. That means that the Nerd is actually connected to my guest network, so I know that that's all correct. So I'm going to open my Nerd app. Now again, the first time it has to connect to it for the network, it's going to take a second to populate the buttons. And then you'll notice that I have my green LED on, and I have my buttons up on screen. So now I have network control. So it's really that easy. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, disconnect the nerd from the network, you would just go uh, to the connection mode and then hit direct, and then it would reconfigure it. To connect my Android device to uh, my new nerd, I'm going to go ahead and hit settings. And now I want to look at um, the nerd device itself. And under Mac, I want to look at the letters that are written there. And so I have uh, the letter CO. So now I want to select CO from um, my Wi-Fi network, so nerd CO. So I'll connect to that. Now it's connected, so I'll back out of here. And then I'll go ahead and open my nerd app. So the nerd app will load, and then uh, my uh, nerd CO will come up here. It'll take a second for the buttons to come on screen the first time. There they are. And you'll notice that the multicolor LED on the nerd itself is actually green, meaning that I'm connected and I should have control. So when I push the button, there we go. Perfect. No. So now I have direct control um, from my uh, phone to the nerd. But let's say I want to go ahead and associate my nerd with my home network so I can have multiple nerds on uh, one network and control it with my phone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit button. I'm then going to hit advanced at the top of the screen, and then I'm going to go and select selection, or I'm sorry, connection mode. Uh, now that you'll notice that it already has guests selected for me here, but I'll show you um, what the Nerd app does is it actually scans for Wi Fi networks um, on the Android. So it'll bring up all of the Wi Fi networks that it sees. Um, it's very important to note that it ne you need to select a 2.4 gigahertz network because uh, that's what the uh, band on the Nerd device is actually going to be. So I'm going to select guest. I don't have a password, so I'm going to leave that blank, and I'm going to select OK. So now it's going to back out, and it's going to say I need to connect, and my LEDs are going to turn off. So now I'm going to take this time and hit Settings, and connect to my guest network. Oh, try that again. There we go. So now I'm going to be connected to my guest network. Now by this time, my nerd should already have reset and it's connected and the cool thing about Android is the nerd app actually runs in the background so you'll notice that the little green LED is on so as soon as I open up the nerd app it's still running um, now I have full control so I can go ahead and control it and I'm directly connected so uh, it's really that easy if I want to go ahead and uh, make my nerd uh, connect to my phone directly um, not over the network I'll just hit edit again go and select co connection mode and um, it'll switch to direct for me uh, so it's really that easy Thank you for taking the time to watch this unboxing video. I hope you are as excited as we are about this product. Be sure to check us out at www.miner.com for the latest updates. We'll also be posting more how-to videos as well as uh, we have a forum up and running that you can go ahead and post to. And we also have a competition going for the next month and a half on Facebook. Uh, so be sure to like us on Facebook and post uh, your nerd installation videos and photos. Um, on February 15th, we're going to pick the one we like the most and send that person a free nerd. So keep checking in as we take the simple things in and around your house and make them awesome with my nerd.